Now this video is just to uh, give you an idea of what this file is doing so that um, you're understanding it. So um, what we're going to do is create the polar graph of whatever is down here. So right now it's 1 plus 2 cosine of t. And what I'm doing is I've created the rectangular graph um, and I put a point on it. So right now it's at uh, 0, 3. So r is 3 because r is vertical. And uh, t is 0. t is the horizontal on this graph. Um, over here on this graph, we're going to create the polar graph. So you can see that um, when uh, the angle is 0, so we're on the positive x-axis, um, the radius is 3, so we're 3 away. And uh, you can kind of learn a lot of things by looking at this. So for instance, looking at this graph alone, you can see that r is going to uh, decrease um, as we move uh, from 0 toward pi over 2 and then beyond. And uh, if you click there, and you can see the ordered pair here is... Uh, this is theta and this is r and you can watch the point over here on the polar graph and uh, just see what happens. We're going to start the inner loop uh, right here and uh, see it's right around pi and right around negative 1 so pi you're kind of facing this direction over here the negative x-axis but since the radius is negative uh, we're over here instead and just kind of keep going through and uh, you can see uh, I have the T max set to uh, 6.3, so it kind of did a little more than one complete loop around this. And you can mess around with that. You can change these. Uh, if I make the T max be uh, pi over 2, so let's say 3.14 over 2, um, you can see just what part of the graph you get, which is actually useful, um, a good thing to get used to. I make it 3.14, and then drag this over, you can see how much you get of the graph by then, uh, and so on. You can change this, um, you know, maybe you just change it to, uh, I don't know, how about minus. And so that graph changes, and uh, then you can watch it change over here as well. So anyway, um, it'd be nice if you uh, downloaded this and played around with it, and it should uh, help you a little bit with understanding how to go from a rectangular graph to a polar graph. Because remember, if you can create a, a uh, rectangular graph, which you should be able to, then the uh, polar graph is just a matter of kind of translating that, how we've talked about in class. So I hope this is helpful.